Um, we actually, I mean, to your point, we actually are doing this constantly. Um, you probably know that one of the things Google does a lot of is, is experimentation with the, both the ranking algorithms and a lot with the user interface. So uh, I was just checking a few moments ago, and we've got, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred roughly experiments, UI experiments running right now. So we, we go to a lot of trouble, actually, to, to, we have so many experiments running, we go to a lot of trouble to make sure they're not interacting with each other. We don't want one experiment saying, oh, the, the underlying text is uh, this shade of blue, another one saying, oh, it's that shade of blue, it, 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 because they, we go to a lot of trouble to make sure they don't interact. The point is, um, we're constantly changing. One of the examples I'll give you is, um, a couple of years ago, we were trying to figure out how to change the user interface to incorporate different kinds of results from different corpora. What I mean by that is now, if you do a search for, say, Japan, you would be very likely to see a, a blended, what we call a blended result, that is something from news or images or video, right? Um, people don't remember, not so long ago, that wasn't there. Uh, there was no blending. You actually had to go to news in order to read news. You had to go to images. But now we've, we've smartened up the algorithm to insert those things. And we went to a lot of trouble at the time to figure out the best way to visually merge those results. Here's the good news. The good news is we figured out a way so it became immediately apparent what it was and nobody had to learn anything particularly new. So we are constantly tweaking things. We do things with letting, we do things with uh, font choice, with colors, with layout, with inclusion of new material. We're doing this all the time in order to make the experience better. We actually take a kind of really pragmatic approach. We'll do whatever it takes, you know, in order to get to the, the sort of really useful information. But I, I broadly think of my work as coming in, in three categories. And the categories come sort of, they're linked to specific time domains, you know, specific amounts of, uh, of performance uh, behaviors. So you can think of it as sort of millisecond by millisecond behavior. That's what we do when we're doing eye tracking studies. Or second by second behavior is when we bring people into our lab, into our usability lab, and watch them use our, our tools or our new prototypes or our new mockups or something. So in that case, we're looking from milliseconds to seconds. Then I'll go out in the field, or I'll have you know somebody who works with me go out in the field, and we'll watch people minute by minute, hour by hour, as they actually use the system at home. So, for example, one of the things we learned from that is sometimes people will do a search, they will click on the news tab, and then they will read their news, and then they'll do another search, forgetting that they're in news. Okay, so this is called stuck in a mode. Happens a lot. Happens a lot. And so we, it's one of the things we've identified, and we've been trying to, to figure out how to improve that experience. So then, then at the third, you know, third or fourth level, whatever we're at right now, uh, we also look in the millions of, of user events. When we're looking at logs, when we're doing logs analysis, we're looking at millions and millions and millions of people clicking, choosing, selecting what to do, how to change their their query, and so on. So that is over the course of days, weeks, months. So we span from milliseconds to months, and we try to use whatever methods actually are most appropriate for that analysis.